the question of uh, 2010 october november paper 2 2 and uh, the question number is 1 and it's b uh, it says that a block of wood of uh, weight uh, weight 25 newton is held stationary on a slope by means of a string as shown in figure 1.1 the tension in the string is the t as shown here and the slope pushes on the block with a force r which is the normal reaction force that is normal to the slope so either by scale drawing on figure 1.1 here right here it means or by calculation determine the tension t in the string so uh, here we have to go for two techniques one of them is uh, uh, scale diagram scale drawing and the another is uh, doing calculation so let's first go for the scale diagram because when you say vectors, uh, it means uh, we have to take care of magnitude, we have to take care of its direction. So let's go for uh, the scale diagram first. For that, what I need is, let us first represent this vector. This vector, the vector should be, should be exactly parallel to it. So I'll draw something like this. So parallel to this, it can be of any length. It can be of any length then i have to draw this vector so this vector will be it is drawn to it is it should be drawn in such a way that this vector should be in the same direction it should be it should be in the same direction as this so that's why that means it has to be parallel so i'm trying to make it parallel as far as possible i'm trying to make it parallel as far as possible so this is i think the most parallel I can do and similarly let me draw this thing as well this thing so let me draw it parallel so this is the most parallel I suppose so this is again parallel so wow <clears throat> so now since the three forces are in equilibrium so what I must have is these three forces these three forces if drawn uh, one after another they should form they should form a form a triangle they should form a closed triangle according to vector laws so that's why this is uh, 25 newton this is uh, the force tension t and this is the force uh, r so now let's measure the lengths measure the length so if i measure this thing if I measure this thing, it seems that it is about uh, about uh, six point nine centimeter. So this is equal to six point nine centimeter. Now I need to find the value of t here. So let's measure t. So t is about four centimeter. T equal to four centimeter. So that means. If this 6.9 centimeter is equal to 25 Newton, so if this 6.9 centimeter is equal to is equal to 25 Newton, then one centimeter is equal to 25 by 6.9, and a four centimeter should be equal to 25 by 6.9 into four. And it should be equal to, so let me do some calculations somewhere else. Let me do some calculations somewhere else and it will definitely give me. Uh, <coughs> so the calculations should show that when I do it, uh, the calculations show that. So let me, let me go for the calculators. So it is a 25 divided 6.9 equal to and uh, into 4 is equal to so this is 14.49 so it's equal to equal to 14.49 newton so that's equal to simply i can say it as 14.5 newton now if i want to find r so here also uh, I can measure this thing. So if I measure it, uh, uh, if I measure it in this uh, manner, it will be, it will be, it will be. So it's around five point. Uh, it will be around five point uh, uh, 
uh, 7 centimeter so 5.7 so 5.7 should be equal to 25 by 6.9 into 5.7 so it will be it will be uh, 25 divided 6.9 equal to into 5.7 so this is 20.65 equal to 20.65 sorry 20.65 to Newton that's equal to 20.7 Newton so R is <coughs> 20.7 Newton T is a 14.5 Newton and uh, this uh, uh, given quantity this uh, weight is 25 Newton the same problem is uh, attempted by uh, means of calculation we have to resolve the uh, forces uh, in uh, horizontal and vertical directions so that's for that let me draw a horizontal line here somewhat like this this is the horizontal and there's no need to do vertical because this is the vertical line so if this is 30 uh, this tension force and r are perpendicular to each other so this angle should be 55 degree 55 degree so that means uh, the component of r along this direction is it will be r cos 35 degree and the component of t along this direction will be it will be t cos of 55 degree <clears throat> similarly the component of r in this direction will be equal to r sine of 35 degree and the component or the effect of t in this direction will be equal to t sine of 35 degree so let's uh, apply the uh, form formula here so if you go <coughs> if we just consider uh, the forces in the horizontal directions so what we ha will have is uh, t sine 35 degree minus r sine of uh, let's uh, let me correct my mistake here this is actually 55 degree so this angle so it is a sine 55 degree minus r sine 35 degree should be equal to 0 and if I consider this uh, vertical thing it will be it will be T cos of 55 degree plus R cos of 35 degree should be equal to 25 it's because if I consider T is positive T sine 55 is positive then uh, this should be negative because they are directed in opposite direction so if you show it by arrows it will be like this this is arrow for t sine 55 and this will be arrow for r sine 35 similarly t cos 55 this thing and r cos 35 this thing so this will be this will be t cos 55 and this will be slightly similar here this will be r cos 35 so both are never upward but this this uh, <coughs> uh, this thing is downward so that's why I have the upwards they add and the downward they, sub, they subtract or in the R in the opposite other side so it should be like this so when we solve these things we get the uh, proper values so let's uh, rewrite the equations in this way let's uh, rewrite the equations in this way <laughs> so I'll have uh, sine of 55 is so sine sine 55 is a 0 0.819 so it, we, we should have or 0 0.819 t minus minus uh, minus uh, so it is uh, 0 0.57574 r equal to 0 and again I have uh, <coughs> or 0 0.574 for uh, T plus so it should be uh, 0 0.819 R should be equal to 25 
This equation can be solved by using an app that I have in my uh, mobile. So if I do this, so it should be, uh, <coughs> so it should be, should be, should be, it should be, let me input the equation. Let me do equation. So when I uh, solve the equation, it uh, give the value as somewhat like, uh, say it give me a value, yes, 14.36. So it gave me uh, T is equal to 14.36, something, something, Newton. So if I round it off, it will be 14.4 Newton. So 14.4 Newton. So this value is uh, uh, almost same as the value that we got uh, in, in, our, in our previous uh, calculation. So I misplaced the summary here. It was a 14.5, we suppose. So anyway, uh, the answer is very much similar. And uh, uh, these, the, both of the methods give uh, almost similar solutions.